Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from Rudy, a fellow boater. Uh, Rudy asks, Jeff, I'm not clear why or what are protective boots on batteries. Are they just for house batteries? What are they used for? Oh, Rudy, love it. I didn't talk about protective boots in a long time. Let's do this. Okay. So the reality is um, that there's a lot of uh, sources of, let's call it power or energy on our boats. A battery is an example of that. And if you ever had an accidental short, meaning you dropped a wrench or dropped something metallic, and I've seen boaters be this close from losing their boat by actually putting literally crab traps or prawn traps on top of battery banks, their crab traps are made of metal, and if ever a positive and negative shorted, they're kept put. Like, it's over. It's game over. Like, look for the exits. I hope you're a good swimmer. It's game over. Because you can never, ever, ever, ever have a positive and a negative post on a battery be shorted together directly. So, all right, that's the rule. And how many evers did I say? A lot. Okay, that's emphasis. That is a black and white rule. Okay? So, what do you do to prevent that from happening? You know, over time, people have realized, well, hey, you know what, if, if dead shorts are a problem, why don't we actually, instead of having two pieces of metal that are only maybe eight inches or 10 inches, right, which is 15 centimeters apart, instead of having two things that if they touch one another causes a life and death situation, why don't we actually put a protective boot on top, right, so that if you do drop something, the metal parts are not exposed. Smart. Makes complete sense. Here's the challenge. Most people actually don't know the purpose of a protective boot. They find it an annoyance. It's in the way. So what they do is they remove it and it's hard because it's meant to be there. And then they yank on it, pull on it. They do what they have to do. And they're like, I don't want to go through that again. That's a pain. So what do they do with the protective boot? They leave it somewhere away from actually the terminal, the battery terminal. Because they just want to have the convenience next time of not having to do that again. And that's the problem is they defy the whole purpose of the, the protective boot to begin with because it has to be not on the cable somewhere, it has to be over the post. The other place where it's commonly found is on a starter solenoid or even an alternator post because, and this is why, the whole engine is negative. The whole thing is grounded. You have two posts on that on that uh, engine that are unfused, most likely unfused, because the code does not require us to fuse the starter circuit. So your battery is effectively on the starter and it's effectively on the alternator. I see this all too often. I invite all of you, if you have a boat or you have a friend's boat, next time you're on that boat, go have a look at the starter and the alternator. And sadly, I can't tell you how many times, like I'm talking like way over 50% of the boats, the protective boot is literally removed, brought down the cable, and now the positive alternator post and the starter solenoid positive post, which are unfused by the way, and all around it within inches, literally centimeters, is negative. So it's even worse than a battery. The whole engine block is negative. And if ever you're working on your engine, twisting a wrench, this is me working my wrench, if ever that happens and you touch a you're working on the engine and you touch the positive post of the alternator or the starter, it will be a memorable event in your life. You will never forget it. Clearly, your hand is gonna be seared because most likely the wrench is all metal. There's gonna be, literally, that wrench is gonna get so smoking hot, there's gonna be sparks all over the place. It's gonna be sort of your own version of fireworks in your engine room. If it's a gasoline engine room, this might be your last firework showing. <laughs> Right, clearly, you can't have sparks in a gasoline engine room. So the protective boots are there to protect us from doing or having an accident. Strongly encourage all battery posts, positive and negative, should have them. And as well, you should put them everywhere else on the boat where you have large amperage connectors. We see them even on thrusters. We'll see those battery boots. We'll see them, like I said, on starter solenoids. And you put them everywhere so that you do not have an accidental short of the positive to the negative wire. Great question. Love it. And look at us geeking out about protective boots. Thanks for asking.
Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.